I testify that the doctrine of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ is the faith of our Heavenly Father. It is His truth revealed to His servants, the prophets, from the day, days of Father Adam until our own time. The Father and the Son appear to Joseph Smith to restore the faith of our Father on the earth, never to be taken away again. God desires that all of his children receive it, irrespective of their background, culture, or tradition. True religion should not originate from what pleases men or the traditions of ancestors, but rather from what pleases God, our eternal Father. Continuing revelation is a fundamental feature of this faith. Joseph Smith's first prayer is a powerful testimony of this. Revelation is a constant compass that keeps us always true to the will and the faith of our Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father loves His children. He hears the prayers of the humble and sincere of every nation, tongue, and people. He grants light to those who seek and honor Him and are willing to obey His commandments. We joyously proclaim that the faith of our Father is on the earth today. We invite everyone on this beautiful planet to taste of His doctrine and see if it is not sweet and good and precious. We ask those of sincere heart to learn of this doctrine and ask their Father in heaven if it is not true. And by doing so, all can discover, embrace, and walk in the true faith of their Father, which faith will make them whole. That is our message to the world. I bear solemn witness of the reality of God the Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, and living prophets who hold the keys which have come in unbroken succession from Joseph Smith to Thomas S. Monson today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've seen the same miracle in the service of President Monson as he received the call to preside as the prophet and president of the church and to exercise all the keys of the priesthood in the earth. Revelation and inspiration have come to him in my presence, which confirms to me that God is honoring those keys. I am an eye witness. They are the keys of a priesthood which is in the Lord's words, in the Lord's words, without beginning or end. I bear you my solemn witness that this is the true and living Church of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father will answer your fervent prayers to know that for yourself. You can have a witness that the cause which you sustained today were from God. Even more, you can know that within this Church ordinances are performed which can cleanse souls and bind on earth and in heaven, as they were in the days of Peter, James, and John. Those keys and ordinances are now restored in their fullness through the prophet Joseph Smith and have been passed on through his successors. Jesus is the Christ. He lives. I know that. I testify that Thomas S. Monson is his living prophet. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true, and it lives on. I so testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. With all my heart and the fervency of my soul, I lift up my voice in testimony today as a special witness and declare that God does live. Jesus is his Son, the only begotten of the Father in the flesh. He is our Redeemer. He is our mediator with the Father. He loves us with a love we cannot fully comprehend. And because he loves us, he gave his life for us. My gratitude to him is beyond expression. I invoke his blessings upon you, my beloved brothers and sisters, in your homes, in your work, 
in your service to one another and to the Lord himself. Together, we shall move forward doing his work. I pledge my life, my strength, and all that I have to offer in serving him and directing the affairs of his church in accordance with his will and by his inspiration. My dear brothers and sisters, I love you and I pray for you. Please pray for me and together we will reap the blessings our Heavenly Father has in store for each one of us. This is my prayer, my plea, as I add my testimony. This work is true. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.